With so many different guns in the game, I mean, you're bound to use some wrong. But don't worry, my friends, you can fix that today with these simple tips. What's going on, Pro Guys family? I'm your motivation guy, and today we're gonna be looking at the biggest mistake that almost everybody makes for like every single gun. And I'm not here to waste your time, so let's get this started. What is up, Pro Guys family? I hope you're all winning your face at games and grinding those pugs. I just wanted to stop by and mention that we're having a 15% off sale on our website, ProGuys.com, with the special code PG Special. Make sure to use it at checkout when you purchase anything on our website. Have fun grinding, and I will see you all soon. All right, guys, so to start off the list, let's begin with the pistols, more specifically the default pistols on the CT side, starting with the more commonly used USPS. Okay, so for the USP, the most common mistake I see people make, even in the higher ranks, is spamming it too much. When Simple was asked for his number one pistol tip, it was fire slowly. And that's for good reason. The USP just suffers so much from firing too quickly. Not only because the accuracy goes from amazing to barely usable, but also because you'll see yourself running out of ammo almost instantly. All in all, you just don't really put yourself in a good spot by just spamming it too much. Before we move on to the T side equivalent though, first we have to cover our question of the day. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Today's question being, what's your favorite knife? If I had to pick a favorite one, it would probably be the Fade. It's OG, it looks great. It's just a little bit too expensive, you know, selling for about a thousand USD. But what about you guys? Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite knife? Here we go. When it comes to the Glock, it's actually quite similar, but here, a combination of two things happen. A, people spam it like crazy, and B, they don't know about the accuracy when running. The truth is, the Glock is almost accurate while running as while standing still, so you want to be using it while running most of the time. The reason people don't think the Glock is accurate is simply because they spam it. But the reality is, is that it's about as accurate as an AK and only slightly less accurate than the USB. Basically, the Glock should be used when running everywhere except for long ranges, and it'll essentially be as accurate as the USP as long as you don't spam it. And since I know that some of you guys use it, the biggest mistake of the P2000 is not abusing its main perk of extra ammo in reserve to spam smokes and in general be just more free to spam bullets. Essentially, it's the only reason to use it over the USPS, yet still underused. So when it comes to the P250, and this mostly happens in the pistol round, but it's people not really using it to its strengths either. So the point of buying the P250 on a pistol round is to have the longer one-shot range so that you can just more easily challenge the USPs, but I don't really see many people not abusing that advantage. Basically, you almost want to, you know, try and challenge a strong USP angle with it and surprising a CT by your ability to one-shot when they might not even be expecting that. For the 5.7 and the Tech 9 people, make the exact same mistake, and that's not playing for that lethal one tap range. Both the 5.7 and Tech 9 are able to just one tap helmeted opponents, but in order to do that, you need to play close. So we all know how lethal the Deagle can be because of its ability to one shot, but you can do the very same thing with both the Tech and 5.7 as long as you play close enough. For the other pistol in the same slot of the previous two, we of course got the CZ-75. All right, for the CZ, it's actually not people using it outside of its effective range. After all, I mean, it's pretty obvious the gun isn't very viable at longer ranges, but something that not a lot of people do is set themselves up for what happens after a kill. So the CZ only has 24 bullets total, and the 12 bullets per clip fire out at a very rapid pace. So if you ever wonder why that is, well, it's because you're not supposed to kill more than one with it. The goal of using the CZ is getting a kill and just stealing a gun. So in order to do that, you need to position yourself accordingly so that you're gonna be able to pick up the gun as soon as you get the kill. All right, so we finally arrived at the Deagle, the final pistol. And for the Deagle, it's rather simple too, and that's people don't spam dig enough. Spam digging isn't really what it sounds, all right? It's not actually spamming the Deagle, but instead it's crouch peeking someone and just quickly, you know, double body shotting them for the kill. And it's a lot easier than hitting a skill for one dig and a lot more consistent too, while being just as effective. For everybody's favorite SMG, okay, we got the MP9. Everybody loves the MP9. It's cheap, it's versatile, and it's even decent at longer ranges. That being said though, that's where people go wrong. So the MP9 might not be all that bad at longer ranges, but it's also not optimal at all. Sure, I mean, take a long range duel against an eco player, that's fine, but don't do it versus rifles. Like, I see so many people do this. So when it comes to the T's answer to the MP9, that being the MAC-10, there's one pit that I see so many people fall into, and that's eco hunting way too hard. 
trying to get those eco frags with a MAC-10 makes sense, you get a higher kill reward, and the risk of losing a MAC-10 is considerably lower than an AK. That being said, it doesn't mean that you should just suicide rush into a stack of five pistols. Just try to play around your team and just make sure that if you do die, it's traded. Okay, so for the UMP, it's also people overestimating its range. So the UMP is a pretty decent weapon against armored opponents because of its relatively high armor penetration, but it suffers from massive damage falloff that's just much closer to that of shotguns than it is to that of the other SMGs. And when I said don't take long range duels with the MP9, that's about 10 times as true with the UMP. So don't ever bring it to mid or any other long sight line. When it comes to both the MP7 and MP5, the biggest crime is not buying the MP9 instead. It's cheaper and it's better in almost any situation, with the exception of using the MP7 at point blank range, where it can do just slightly more damage or when you really need that silencer. In general though, like you probably would rather have the MP9 over the other two in essentially any situation. Well, I hate to mention the gun, but since it's actually kind of decent, let's have a look at the P90. And honestly, the biggest mistake that I see so many people make with it is just running and gunning way too much. The P90 actually has the worst running accuracy out of all the SMGs, and it's really not meant to be used for that purpose. Nonetheless, I mean, I see so many people doing it. If you run and gun with it, please stop. Like, if you want to run and gun, that's cool, but please just buy another gun. For example, an MP9. If you really want to use the P90, try to use it while respecting its weaknesses, all right? And just stand still while shooting it. It'll treat you way much better. When it comes to the shotguns, there's honestly only two options, the Mag 7 and the XM1014. The Nova only works against, you know, Ecos and the Sawed Off. I mean, it just... It's just the sawed off. Like when it comes to the Mac 7, the only thing that you can really do wrong is not playing close enough. You always want to make sure that the first shot is 100% going to kill your opponent since you usually won't live to fire a second one. For the XM1014, that's not really the case, but something that I do see a lot of people doing wrong is aiming for the head with it. Okay, so with the XM, you never want to be aiming exactly at the head, but instead at the neck slash upper body area. That way, because of the bullet spread of half your bullets will hit the head, but the rest will hit the body instead of the wall behind your opponent. It may be a bit like unintuitive at first, but once you get used to it, you're gonna notice that you're gonna start doing a lot more damage. All right, rifle time. And what gun is better to start with the AK-47? And although it may be the most iconic gun in the Counter-Strike franchise, it definitely isn't the easiest one. <laughs> The number one mistake I see a lot of players making with it is not using the correct shooting style. Like there's a lot of people that either think that they're scream and are always just tapping or people that do the exact opposite and just only ever spray. Neither of which are good habits and it's not super simple to say which shooting style is the best at times, but you know, you wanna have a healthy mix of them. Don't only spray, you know, don't only tap and don't only burst. Play to get those headshots no matter what range you're in and use the shooting style that'll most help you in that. So for the M4s, okay, there's one mistake I see a lot of people do, right? And it's a difficult one to mention since, you know, I used to be very guilty of this as well, but basically it's using the MP4s exactly like the AK. The truth is though, that it really doesn't really work. Like since you're not using a gun that can just one tap your opponents in the head, you know, you wanna use the weapon a lot more spray heavy, like aim at the upper body slash neck area to get a body shot and really just slow down your opponent first. Just follow it up with the headshot. And that's how the gun should be used. For both the budget rifles, that being the FAMAS and Galil people make exactly the same mistake, and that's not learning the spray pattern. And yeah, like we get it, you'll probably use the AK and M4 more, so you don't want to spend the most time practicing with those guns. But if you want to start winning some more force buys, guys, like learning how to spray with the weapons will greatly improve your odds. And if you practice them, you also quickly realize that they're both much better guns than maybe you thought initially. So the AK and M4 also have premium versions though, that being the SG553 and the AUG. So let's start with the SG. As you guys probably know, the SG was meta for a long part of 2019 and also the start of 2020, and that's also when the gun was mostly used. And because of that, most people also use it like they did previously. The truth though is that it no longer works, or at least not as effectively as you would be able to use an AK or perhaps even a Galil. Previously, the gun was really good for spraying, but now it just isn't. The damage per second is simply just way too low. What it does have though is amazing accuracy and a scope, so instead, you should just be using the gun to tap. Try to hit those heads, man, especially at longer ranges and enjoy the great accuracy that it provides. 
When it comes to the AUG, it's also no longer used as much, but when it is, I see people make the same mistake over and over again. And that's playing the AUG like you would an AUG. And the truth is, although the names sound similar, <laughs> they're very two different weapons and the guns should be used differently as well. Like seriously, the AUG isn't supposed to hold AUG angles, else you're going to be picked by either an AUG from the T's or you're going to put yourself in a position where you're easily pre aimed so what you should do is instead, you know, pick one advantage that you want to abuse and position yourself accordingly. That either being playing close to go for that one tap headshot, or you can use the scope and abuse that by playing an off angle at a longer range. All right, guys, so now that we've mentioned that, we need to talk about the big green and the issue, you know, there is that a lot of people play it like you should in AUG, AKA playing those off angles. Plan an off angle, so a position that's a bit unexpected in between two different regular on angles is not something that you want to be doing with an op. Like if you do so, you're opening up yourself up to getting flashed and you know being picked off for free. And so if you have an AUG and you get flashed, that's not a problem. You know, you can either choose to run away, back cover, or you could just start spraying at the angle you were already pre-aiming. With an AUG, whoo, you probably just have to pray that you're gonna hit your one blind shot, which obviously isn't optimal, right? What you should be doing instead is play angles that allow you to get a second chance behind cover, man. Hold the angle, and if you miss a shot, just fall back and take a new angle, and just so on. All right, guys, so for the last gun of today's video, we welcome the Scout or the SSG-08. And you probably guessed it, the main issue is that people play like an op as well. The thing about the Scout though, is that it has amazing movement speed and that's what you should try to abuse, right? The Scout is really, really great for getting tags and re-peeking over and over again, but I just don't see enough people doing it. Using all the different guns correctly is a really big task, especially learning them all at once. So don't be afraid, man, to just watch this video back again when you decide to try different guns. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, hey, show us some love, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, spread the word. We got so much great content coming out on this channel. And once again, I'm your motivation guy, and I'll see you soon.